फ्रेंड्स कमिंग टू बिलियरी सिस्टम बिलियोरबिन मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड बिलियरी सिस्टम सो बिलियोरबिन इज फॉर्म फ्रॉम द डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द आर बी सी सो द आर बी सी डिस्ट्रक्शन अकर्स इन द स्प्लीन देन देअर इज रिलीज ऑफ हेम फ्रॉम द आर बी सी एंड वी हैव अनकंजुकेटेड बिलियोरबिन विच इज अ लिपिड सॉल्यूबल इज फॉर्म दिस अनकंजुकेटेड बिलियोरबिन इट कंबाइंस और ज्वाइंस विद द albumin and it enters the liver now this unconjugated bilirubin uh, which combines with the albumin once it enters the liver we have this unconjugated bilirubin in the presence of udp it is going to form conjugated bilirubin so this conjugated bilirubin uh, forms in the presence of ugt enzyme which is udp glucuron glucuronyl transferase enzyme so this ugt enzyme converts the unconjugated bilirubin to the conjugated bilirubin ugt is udp glucuronyl transferase enzyme now this conjugated bilirubin it is water soluble the unconjugated bilirubin it is lipid soluble therefore it entered the liver so this conjugated bilirubin it is going to pass via biliary ducts through the common biliary duct then it enters the intestine once it enters the intestine then it is going to go into the stool with a gut bacteria and it gives colors to the stool which is known as stercobilinogen so this bilirubin which is present in the stool it is stercobilinogen from the intestine it goes to the blood reaches to the kidneys and comes out in the urine which is urobilinogen so this is the biliary system biliary metabolism jaundice is when there is excess of bilirubin which bilirubin in the excess it can be excess of unconjugated bilirubin it can be excess of conjugated bilirubin so unconjugated bilirubin it is more than 85% of the total bilirubin while conjugated bilirubin it is 15% of the total bilirubin so we call it jaundice when the bilirubin level is more than 2.5 mg per deciliter yellow discoloration of the skin and sclera is seen in case of patient with jaundice and this is due to the affinity of bilirubin to the elastin fibers now coming to the differences between unconjugated bilirubinemia that means increase in the unconjugated bilirubin and conjugated hyperbilirubinemia that means increase in the conjugated bilirubin when there is increase in the unconjugated bilirubin we have st already studied the mechanism that means we are talking about before entering the liver increase in the unconjugated bilirubin can be because of more rbc destruction it can be because of the udp defect so if there is defect in the udp ugt uh, if there is defect in the ugt enzyme that means there cannot be conversion of unconjugated to conjugated so no conjugated bilirubin is formed and therefore all the bilirubin which is present will be present in the unconjugated so therefore if i say unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia it can be because of the excessive rbc destruction which is seen in case of hemolytic anemia or hemorrhage liver immaturity that is in a newborn there is a physiological jaundice which is seen from the second day onwards and it is a physiological seen in the newborn it is normal process then a ugt defect can also cause increase in the unconjugated bilirubin or unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia because this ugt is going to convert unconjugated to conjugated and since the conjugated bilirubin is not formed therefore excess of unconjugated is formed and the ugt defect we have the genetic defect such as gilbert syndrome you can remember g for gilbert and you can remember it is g for genetic and increase in the again u sorry decrease in the ugt activity decrease in the ugt enzyme activity and therefore there is less conversion of unconjugated to conjugated and we see unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia in case of gilbert syndrome another genetic syndrome associated with unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia it is krigler nazar syndrome in that we have cns involvement cns1 in which there is no activity of ugt and therefore there is increased mortality people die because 
there is a lot of unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia because there is no conversion of unconjugated to conjugated cns2 in which there is decrease in the ugt activity and there is ucb which is unconjugated bilirubin deposit in the brain in the basal ganglia and this condition is known as kernic teres when this unconjugated bilirubin deposit in the brain and this is krigler nazar syndrome now coming to conjugated hyperbilirubinemia which is seen in jaundice pruritus or steatora cause can be bile obstruction see now conjugated hyperbilirubinemia is when it is it is coming out of the liver so conjugated hyperbilirubinemia is when this is not the bile is not coming out in the urine or the stool so if it is not coming out in the urine or stool that means it is deposited in the body so this is a conjugated hyperbilirubinemia so we have bile duct obstruction there can be stones or cancer or even infection can cause a bile duct obstruction biliary tract disease like primary biliary cirrhosis can cause the conjugated hyperbilirubinemia or there can be genetic cause now genetic cause for unconjugated we have studied g for genetic g for gilbert syndrome as well as krigler nazar for conjugated hyperbilirubinemia the genetic is dubin johnson syndrome and rotor syndrome so dubin johnson syndrome there is decreased excretion of the conjugated bilirubin and therefore there is excess of conjugated bilirubin since the excretion is decreased it stays in the body it is a autosomal recessive trait wherein there is a protein defect which is mrp2 defect and there is dark pigmented liver that is seen because of the epinephrine metabolites the another genetic associated with a conjugated hyperbilirubinemia it is rotor syndrome in the rotor syndrome liver appears normal while on the other hand for dubin johnson syndrome we see dark pigmented liver that is because of the epinephrine metabolites now in case of a viral hepatitis there is increase in both the bilirubin that is unconjugated bilirubin is also increased and conjugated bilirubin is also increased in case of a viral hepatitis so coming to few important points that have been asked recently in the exam unconjugated bilirubin is absent in the urine because it is attached to albumin so we have already discussed unconjugated bilirubin it is attached to the albumin and then it enters the liver in which liver we have unconjugated to conjugated conversion which is in the presence of ugt enzyme unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia it is seen in case of which kind of anemia in case of hemolytic anemia or hemorrhage because there is more rbc destruction and hence we have more of the unconjugated hyperbilirubin now krigler nazar type 2 syndrome it is a recessive trait the test used to diagnose the dubin johnson syndrome it is bsp test conjugated hyperbilirubinemia is seen now we are talking about conjugated hyperbilirubinemia we have discussed two disease that are associated genetically with conjugated one is dubin johnson syndrome and another one is the rotor syndrome dubin johnson being the most important one so dubin johnson syndrome is associated with conjugated hyperbilirubinemia and unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia is associated with again two syndromes so one is the gilbert syndrome another one is krigler nazar syndrome 5 dash nucleo uh, nucleotidase activities increase in case of cholestatic disorder cholestatic disorder so this is about the few important points regarding jaundice that have been asked recently in the neat exams